What's going on guys? Andy here, Cut and Clean Lawn Care. We're out here in St. Joe, Missouri. We're at Jimmy from To The Top Crane's house. I got him and Randy working on my truck because that's, that's how cool I am is I just have other people do all my stuff that way I don't have to do it. Would you get off the camera and start helping or something? I am helping. I'm here for morale and like moral support. Is that what it is? Yeah. You guys are doing great. <laughs> Yay. But yeah, guys, we have a lot of stuff going on today. It is Saturday. We're doing the brakes, rotors on the truck. We're doing the rear air suspension for uh, the trailer and kind of getting rid of the squat and all that. But yeah, guys, like I said, make sure you go check out Jimmy with To The Top Crane. Uh, if you guys know, if you've seen his stuff, he's a crane operator and relative to all heavy machinery. And he also uses impact while I'm talking. <laughs> but yeah, guys, not only is he an operator of a lot of those machines, but he is also a mechanic. He works on those machines. So anything that happens to the crane, he's the guy fixing them and stuff like that. So that's why I got him working on my truck, because he knows what he's doing. I don't. But yeah, guys, like I said, make sure you check out his channel, but he's also got a second channel. It's called Thor's Hammer. He's building this right here. How much is this going to weigh, Jimmy, when you're done? 1,500. 1,500 pounds. He's welding it all up, getting it shiny. It's going to look just like Thor's Hammer. And they're going to be taking this on the crane and dropping it on miscellaneous objects. Is that the goal? That's the goal. Sounds like a fun channel to me. Chaos and destruction. I like it. Okay. Okay. Come on, Happy Gilmore. Just give it a little tap here. A little tap 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 move. Bottom. Jeez, everybody's a critic. Well, doors locked, the back door's always open. <laughs> oh, cause the back door don't got a welcome mat. <laughs> Why aren't you helping him? Oh, oh, huh? I was texting. Are you recording right now? Do you want to show everybody how you get the rudder off when it's stuck on an F-150? Yeah. That's what those bolts are for. Those little holes, you just drill a... They're, they're already threaded. Oh, you they're, just drive the bolt through it and push it off? Yeah, they're put, it's for a pressure bolt. Is that just on the F-150s or the most models of trucks like that? Not a lot of trucks have that. Oh, that's pretty cool though. I'd say about 50% of the time maybe. See, these grip a lot more, you can tell. Is that how you do it? Yeah. Hit me with a number, what's the percentage of the grip at? Uh, 92. Well, yeah, oh, hang on, you gotta compare though. There's the old one. You gotta have a comparative analysis. Oh, I, gotta, I gotta turn on this. You can't even keep your hand from moving on. Wow, that's, that's what the, you see how easy that slides. This one here just, I mean, you can't. I mean, I think you'd almost stick this to the wall. I mean, sure. when it comes down to facts and people know what they're talking about, I really trust that analogy with your hand. Yeah. Thanks for pointing that out. <laughs> Give it. Thank you. Thank you. We didn't hot rod it around or anything, I promise. <laughs> you don't look at your on star. Um, yeah, that thing. The driving report. No, you have to stay in here. You can't go oh, there. He is. Okay, you can go. Hey. Oh. Hey. Hey. Careful, Randy. It's not a golden. Hey. He's like, what do you have? It's a treat. What is that, Gus? <laughs> You're just lost. And if you guys didn't know, that's the exact reason why pit bulls are banned. I mean, what would you do if you were the UPS guy coming up to a house and there's a vicious pit bull standing there wanting to hand you a toy to play with? You'd run for the hills. What do you think about them new shocks? I mean, they're not new, but they're, they're old. But I they're silver. Clean. Eh, they're adjustable. I know, I was gonna adjust one side really soft, the other side really firm, so you <laughs> going down the road. What would you recommend? Do you think they should be softer or hard? <laughs> do you think, Jimmy, soft or hard? I'm not a woman, so I can't answer that. You're not getting a grease. And I've seen Jimmy do some pretty cool stuff on a lot of his videos to where I feel comfortable. 
but I've known Randy for quite a while. I don't like the fact that he's screwing. Well, what the? So when you're shoving the pistons back in the caliper, if anybody's added brake fluid to it because of the, to compensate for the pad wear, as you're shoving this back in, the oil, the brake fluid's going back into the master cylinder, so it may drip out. It may run some out onto the floor. All right, from where it was, you're, you're saying, like when your brake pads are wore down and your, your brake, pedal goes to the floor kind of almost and you put new brake pads on why does it raise back up it's because you got more fluid back in your master cylinder before if your pedal travel was too far you were running out of brake fluid in your master cylinder your hydraulic pressure won't increase because your hydraulic pressure is determined by the piston diameter inside the master cylinder but now the brakes are going to be applied a little earlier on that he's going to have less of a stroke on his brake pedal now right theoretically he shouldn't as long as his master cylinder was always full Okay. Now I'm going to teach you guys something in, not really conversation, but altercation. You can always tell when someone knows what they're talking about because they don't feel forceful and have to talk with their hands as much. Now if you notice, <laughs> Randy's trying really hard to get his point across while Jimmy's just sitting here complaining and stuff. Explanation. <laughs> the hands. Your, your brake pressure is determined by the diameter of the piston in the master cylinder. So if you have a larger diameter piston in the master cylinder, it will create more pressure, but it will also push the pistons less distance, so you'd have to travel the brake pedal further. Let me know when you're done recording. <laughs> Alright guys, check out this torque wrench that Jimmy has from Snap-on. I've never seen a torque wrench that is electric as far as notifying you when you're wearing it. It also it. vibrates. I hear it. Dude, that thing's awesome. And guys, I know the video is kind of sporadic. Right now we're working on, and I say we're, that mean them two and not me. I'm just worried about when we're getting little Caesars, but they are working on the airbags and brakes for the rear truck. It's just easier to do it all back here at once. And I've always had kind of a rattle on the truck too. I don't know if you guys have ever heard it in videos. Sometimes when I romp on the truck, it gets a little rattle. And it could be like a little part of like a heat shield on the exhaust. So we're going to try to get that, you know, welded with silicone as soon as possible. So with a kit that you buy, you literally have to grind something off of that to get it to work. Those, Two little tabs at the top. Those little pins. Got to come off. And I should have a face shield on, but. Hey man, there's one right next to you. Yeah, but it tents when it pops. <laughs> Where, but they go through the holes on the frame. And through the bracket, holes on the bracket. Let me know what you do. What? Let me know what you do. And that's my brother's. Yeah, I got mine in. Okay, bolt the bottom. I leave this loose until I get it adjusted because it slides back and forth. Once I get it situated in there, I know where I want it. Then I'll pull it back out, tighten this up. But it's so dark. All right, here we go. And basically, you're just trying to center the top of the spring, the airbag, over the bottom of the airbag. Andy, what are you doing making all the noise under there? Got my finger stuck. Randy, you do know, if you don't do this correctly, you're going to be the guy on the side of the road fixing it. <laughs> Can I stick my head in and help? Dude, dude it's all right. My dad's got tools. My he's, dad's a television repairman. He's repair a television man. repairman. He's got this awesome set of tools. I can fix it. So. What? Bags installed on the back. Bags are installed on the back. They're puffy, like the magic dragon that Randy puffs on, because I don't. I don't do that. Yeah, we're gonna grab some food. And then we're gonna come back, we're gonna install the compressor, plumb all of that, get all that wired up, change the brakes, and you'll be done. And then honestly, anybody wanting to do this project, I'm not the most mechanically savvy person in the world. And for what they're talking about, like the install process being like two and a half hours, from what I saw you guys do, the longest part is how long it took to get those nuts set on those bolts because they're yeah, so those long. Those are pretty long. Like that was it. That was that was the majority a, of the process. It's a pretty it? easy kit. Yeah, you just take off the bump stops and pop them Anybody with uh, average tools and some common sense can make it happen. Yeah. So we're going to grab some food real quick and then we're going to get it all plumbed up and ready to go for the compressor. 
All right, guys, so we just ate lunch, had ourselves some Little Caesars. I'm completely stuffed. Randy ate three large pizzas by himself. Uh, me and Jimmy had about two slices each. Um, Jimmy's up here trying to figure out, we're looking into the front of the truck here, where we want to mount the compressor, because it is a noisy little sucker. And uh, said we want to keep it out of the weather as much as possible. So it's all about just, there's a lot of places we can put it, but what just fits best cosmetically and things like that, right? Keep it out Functionality. Of the way cosmetically something where you don't have to listen to it right because that can be this thing here we'll fire it up it's pretty pretty noisy i'm actually thinking under your driver's seat's the place to put it yeah yeah driver's seat or maybe where the radio was so yeah guys everything's pretty much going smooth man i can't wait to get my truck ready to uh be a little bit more safe on the road and have a little bit more braking power except randy's doing the brakes so you guys that? know that's probably going to be a bad decision. All right, guys, Randy just got finished up with the rear brakes. Now he's over here cleaning Jimmy's tools out of just pure fear. For out of pure part. fear. <laughs> scared for his life. Is it coming out good, bud? Yeah, yeah. Why'd you get his tools dirty? Because your truck was dirty. I mean, every time you tap this, nothing but like rust dust came out of it. <laughs> rust dust. <laughs> that was welded on. Something. Yeah, let's go up to the front. As you guys know, the airbags are already put in. Jimmy's up here hooking all this stuff up. Compressor in a nice little clean spot. And whatever that thing is in a nice clean spot. So we're working on this. Hopefully it'll be done soon, man. I'm excited. All right, guys. I finally got everything all installed with these two guys watching me all day, which is pretty sweet. So, uh, yeah. It's all hooked up. All running. We just tested it. We tested it again. I got my sweet little remote deal here. So... We will let some air out of it. Should do it. As you've seen, purge some air out of the back. Now we'll pump it back up. Just a 30 psi. See if she. See if she. See. If she. We're in business. Did you get all your tools reorganized? I think so. Did you get all those tools cleaned? All clean. Let me see your hands. Let me see your hands. Okay. Let me see your hands. Let me see your hands. Yeah, he did more shit on the truck. <laughs> Let me see your hands. <laughs> so what's up, guys? We're back in beautiful Smithville, Missouri. Back at Randy's house, G4 Outdoors. We got all done. Man, I really don't know how this video is going to work out, but no matter what, I'm going to post it. We just got random scenes. I want to make sure I show Jimmy from To The Top Crane that support. And Randy, man, they did all the work today, man. They got these brakes in order. They got the suspension and all that stuff hooked up and running and operating good. All the work. All the work. I might have kicked you guys a tool or something. I ordered the pizza and paid for it. Oh, there you go. You guys wouldn't be able to finish the day without the pizza. But uh, let me uh, show you guys this real quick. It's on a remote, so I'm going to show you kind of how it works, and we're going to go through it real quick and maybe show it going up and down. So let's check it out. First, let's check out these delicious new brakes. And they are brand new, so they smell to high heaven right now. And guys, what I like about Jimmy is he's super meticulous on what he does. So even him running all the plumbing and the wiring and hooking everything up into the truck looks like it came that way in the truck, man. He does a great job with that stuff. Me, I'm just loose wires and zip ties and duct tape everywhere, but it looks good. And real quick, guys, I'm going to do a short little sped up time lapse and see if you can even tell the difference of it uh, deflating the air and airing back up. It takes quite a while to air it up. The compressor is super small, but for what I'm doing, it's fine. But uh, yeah, it's like an inch and a half to two inches. We're going to measure it, but it makes a world of difference. The ride from Jimmy's house to here was super smooth, man. The truck was easy to keep in the lines. And when you're braking, you have brakes again, not just because of the brakes, but because of the trailer being even. But let's measure this out real quick. So right now it's completely aired up to where I have it. And there's a nine inch gap exactly between the tire and the wheel well. So I'm gonna let all the air out of this and we'll see where it's at. So we just let all the air out and it is at seven inches now. Which as far as the ride and the comfortability of the truck, that two inches makes a big difference in something like this compared to how the trailer sits and how low the back end of the truck sits down. And I have a leveling kit on here. So 
with it the way it's squatting means the back is two inches down from the front normally but now we got it all evened out and it's awesome all right guys so it's a long grueling day for me you saw all the work that i put in today doing all these brakes and uh complete air ride system all by myself while jimmy and randy watched i'm just kidding shout out to randy over at g4 outdoors he did pretty much the brakes especially the rear brakes and a big shout out to Jimmy over at To The Top Crane. If you guys haven't, please go over there and check his channel out, man. He's a super awesome guy and he's a wealth of knowledge when it comes to mechanical things and uh, even just operating heavy machinery. It's kind of cool to watch. So yeah, guys, like always, I don't know how this video is gonna go because like always, that's what I do like always. Like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. You can't say